Assalamu alaikum guys. So today I'll be trying Unity and my goal is to make a game which you can play. But I'm a Roblox developer, so I don't have that much experience in Unity. So let's see how it goes. So I have just downloaded Unity. Now it's actually time to make the game. But wait, I need an idea. So I want to create a 3D game because you know 2D is kind of boring in my opinion. So basically you will be a ball, but that's too peaceful. So some really red laser blocks will come towards you and <coughs> you. So you will have to avoid these blocks. Now this is fairly simple, but it's my first game on Unity. So take it easy on me. Alright, now it's time to choose which type of game I'll make. I will pick of course 3D. Okay, and now it's loading. Why is it still loading? My setup is actually good. Um, yeah, about that. This computer is actually like around 7 years old, but I do everything on it. So to help me get a new setup, you gotta like this video. Okay, I realized for some reason this version does not work in my computer, which I had downloaded. But now I can see that this version works. And it finally loaded. I can see some similarities here. Now let me mess around and see how it works. Okay, so I just inserted some random stuff, but let me try to recreate my idea. Boom! That wasn't that hard. Okay, this wall looks horrendous though, but this is the wall that will go forward. Now I am making the player, and yeah, that is the player I guess. Now, if the wall hits the player, which is the ball, then the player dies. But each time the ball, basically the player, dodges the laser wall, then the player gets plus one score. I know that is a bit boring and basic right now, but I will make it better. Now it's time to make it work with a script. Uh, how do you make a script? Hmm, which tutorial should I pick? Aha, I think this is the one. Please watch the video in high quality. Yes, sir. Create C sharp script. Okay, a C sharp script. All right, so Unity has changed it to mono behavior script. Why couldn't they just keep C sharp script, bruh? And you actually have to use Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, though I don't know the difference. But I'm using Visual Studio just because it has the inbuilt Unity Auto complete. Now it's time to script. But oh shoot, I don't know how to script. So I watched some tutorials in YouTube which are like 5 years old. Dang. So I absorb the knowledge and I know how to script. Okay, I'm done with my script, so let's see if it works. Why is it not working? I quit. I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT. I mean, it is still my script that is just getting changed a little bit. Just gotta paste it in. Let's see if it works. Nah, bruh. This moving system is trash. I'll have to change it in the future. So I need the wall to move forward to the player with a script. Easy. I did not have to follow a tutorial. Okay, I did watch this tutorial, but now I need to make the score UI. But I also have no idea how to make UI in Unity. So I found that there is something called the UI Builder, so let's see what I can cook up here. Bro, I wasted so much time, but it looks like I can't even scale the text. For example, if I have 20 score, then it looks fine. But then if I have like a lot more score, then it looks really bad. So I decided to just use the old way to make UI. I mean, old is gold, right? 
but that was much easier and much better in my opinion like it's not filled with random stuff but now look it works now i just have to make it update each time the player gets plus one score okay so the script is done now hit the play button and dodge the wall and look at that but the thing is that if you hit the wall then nothing happens so i'll try scripting this by myself Okay, so I used the on trigger enter so it can detect when a laser wall hits a player. Basically, the touch the vent in Roblox Studio. And let's test that out. Great, it works. We are making really good progress right here. But now I need to make the die screen so you can see that you died. So here is a time lapse of me making the death screen UI. Okay, I'm joking, I have already given too many time lapses. And boom! Such a good UI, bruh. Like, my eyes are in disbelief. No, but seriously, why is it so hard to make UIs in Unity? Like, just why? Why, Unity, why? But just look at this. Ooh. But the laser blocks are still moving after I'm dead. And I can still move. So, let me fix that real quick. Okay, that was easy. I just added a bool called playing. And if it's true, then everything will run. But if it's not true, then nothing will run. Until it's true again. Now, let's test it out. Okay, I'm dead. And everything actually stopped. Finally, I did something in first try. But there is also a main menu button. Let me try clicking it. Yep, nothing happens. So I quickly made a main menu. So if I die right now, psych, okay, I'll die right now. And then click the main menu button. Then voila. It's gray, right? Right? And yeah, the buttons are also scripted. Like here is the settings UI, though there is nothing right now. And I also made a close button. Wait. Why is there two settings button? Uh, but I think the UI is done. Maybe I'll add a credit section so people can see who made the game. Like, it would be pretty funny if it went like this. Scripting, made by Rice Dummy. UI, made by Rice Dummy. Map, made by Rice Dummy. Actually, the map is not done. There is literally nothing. So I'll first make walls surrounding the player to give a better atmosphere. And then, I'll give it a good material. Now I'm going to fix this ugly laser wall with these ugly laser blocks. So I will make a laser material so the wall actually looks like lasers. And now they have a cool glow effect. I did 100% not have to watch 10 tutorials on how to do it. Uh, cause I only watched 2. But now the game is finished. You can play it by going to the psych. I didn't make the high score save. So I looked through some documents about saving and it was actually much easier than I thought. I only had to write these lines of code. Now last but not least, I need to choose the game name. It will be drumroll please. Ball versus wall. Such a beautiful name. Like, when you say it, you get chills. Like, imagine you saw a game called Ball vs. Wall, you would instantly play it. It even rhymes. Okay, enough talking about the name. Now the main menu is actually done. But other than that, the game is done, right? Well, no. Cause I also tried making an outline for the ball, so it would look better. But I just couldn't. But other than that, I have to publish it somewhere. Well... I can't do that either, cause there are so many other features I have to add, and there are some bugs I also have to fix, but some of them I don't even know how to do. So I will find out, but this video is getting too long. So part 2 is coming really soon, inshallah, cause my post schedule is cooked. So subscribe to help me, and get notified when part 2 comes out. And if I hit 10k subs, I will do a face reveal. And assalamu alaikum.
，早上好，中国。现在我有冰淇淋，我很喜欢冰淇淋